So, we're here at Volkswagen, and I'm talking to Mike Stefan. And Mike, um, you were trying to, you were explaining us uh, the electrification process inside Volkswagen. And I first want to ask you, how serious is that process and how important is that? Yeah, we are totally serious about that process. Yeah, we, we have... Uh, we have decided that we go with full speed into electrification. Yeah, we do a complete transformation of our company. And uh, just recently we have committed uh, to the Paris uh, 2050 climate goals. Yeah, and the Volkswagen Group is committed to achieve uh, a CO2 neutrality until the year 2025. So we are totally serious about that. You're totally serious. And uh, it all started in 2015, right? A bunch of things came together. What were those things that that whole huge shift in the strategy of the company was possible? Yeah, it, it started already many years ago. So we are doing research and development on the electrification for decades already. Yeah, and we had already a good technology and good prototypes available already before 2015. But in 2015, with the public discussion on, on, on the diesel, on the conventional drivetrains in combination with the environmental discussion, it was for us the, not, not the starting point, but the right time to do the decisions to transform our company. So that, that seems very, uh, very in incredible that that big change was made. So you are Volkswagen, you make 10 million cars, uh, 10 million cars a year. Um, at the moment, it's less than 1% of the electric car which you uh, create. What, uh, describe the next five years, what, what, has ha what happened in the last three years and what will happen in the next five years? Yeah, so we, we bring this year the first new electric vehicles on the road based on our two platforms, the uh, modular electrical uh, platform for the smaller cars and the PPE for the bigger cars for Audi and Porsche. And uh, this starts this year and we will ramp up our uh, product portfolio and volume over the next uh, five to ten years. Uh, we expect that until 2025 we will have a global product portfolio of uh, around 80 vehicles, uh, electric vehicles uh, um, in, in our group, um, achieving a volume of up to 20% globally. This stands for around about two million, two and a half million cars. But it's up to, you have the capacity to produce it. I mean, what do you expect that you will produce? This is what we are planning for. So we are transforming the first factories uh, uh, into factories for uh, production of electric vehicles. Yeah, Eight, so 18 pieces, huh? We have decided to, to transform the first 18 factories out of our global production network. And um, we will see. At the end, uh, it is so simple. The customer decides what he buys. Yeah. So we are convinced yeah, that electrification is the right technology at the moment to achieve the CO2 ne neutrality. But the customer has to decide. Yeah. So we'll work on the customer later. But in, uh, so you're b rebuilding those factories. How, how big of a change is in a conventional factory uh, versus an electric factory? It's it's a complete change. Yeah. It is. It, it the. We take all the existing technology out of the factory and it will be built completely new. It's a huge uh, transformation, it's a huge investment, it's a complete different and new business and for more than 50% of the people working in these factories they have to be trained uh, completely new because we need new competencies. One interesting thing I thought, I mean I've always been amazed about the car industry they have different computer systems for everything. Mm -hmm. They have computer systems for braking and for light and for this. There's many different computer systems. You're building a new computer system for this electrification, right? Exactly. We are building the, the Volkswagen operating system and uh, this will be one unit uh, serving the whole car and this makes it possible to be connected uh, to the outside world so the, the customer can um, start heating the car uh, st uh, via his phone, he can activate the air condition and it's, it's like the car will be 
a smartphone on wheels in the yeah. future. And it can be updated over the air. It can be updated over the air as well. Yeah. So that change is also very relevant for the c current business, right? I mean, if that transformation has, has worked in the electrical field, that will also come back to the uh, other car. Yeah, this is true. Um, so th the change is huge, yeah, and we have to develop our competencies. Uh, we are looking for, 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 for lots of new colleagues in the, in the IT sector, so volunteers welcome. Very easy to find people, right? I mean, uh, who are good in electrical and IT and software, because you have to go from a metal company to a software, uh, to a software company. Exactly, so we are hiring uh, exactly these, uh, these people. It is not as easy. There are not enough uh, available on the market. And uh, please don't forget, we are still uh, still welding um, uh, metal. It's still a car. So we need this on top uh, to our existing competencies. One key, um, key part of the car, of course, is the battery. What is your strategy on that? Because there's a huge amount of demand and there's not much supply. Yeah, first of all, the battery is indeed the key of, uh, of the car so with our platforms we have uh, built a complete new architecture and the battery is the core of the car uh, we have um, uh, we have selected our suppliers already for the uh, for the purchase volume of uh, the batteries the uh, modules or cells uh, and, the, and the modules uh, we have LGs and the Samsung and the, the usual uh, uh, suppliers exactly and uh, we have secured a certain volume already uh, in, in order to be safe in the ramp up phase. Uh, and uh, this is already an, an, an official discussion. Uh, we are, uh, let's say, in the investigation phase whether it is feasible to have uh, an, 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 a, a battery cell production in Europe on our own or with a partner. But you also say batteries is really something different than, than creating a car, right? Your competence is in creating huge amount of cars which drive very reliable and which are, you know, give people lots of pleasure to drive. But batteries is a different kind of technology. Battery is a totally different technology. So we, when we had, uh, when, when we have started 2015, we had no, no competence at all. So we have to, we are building up our competence in this field, but it's a long, long process. Currently, we, 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 we have to say, that, that we won't be able to, to develop battery cells on our own, yeah, but at least we have to understand the technology and we have to be in a position to offer at the end a totally safe and secure car to our customers. Everybody is running to all these LG and Panasonic and, uh, and, and Samsung. Um, don't we, shouldn't we do more to invest in new kinds of factories and new kinds of players? Are you, do you have an investment fund for that? No, we don't have an investment fund for that. Um, th these, these usual suppliers, yeah, they are of course very interested in doing business with us and all the other uh, manufacturers uh, on, on our globe and they are uh, increasing their capacity as well. But it is a limiting factor at the moment. Yeah? And this is a little bit in contradiction to the expectations that battery prices are going down. No, of course, the battery prices will go up when there's a huge amount of uh, demand on these uh, people. It will be a very profitable business to be in for the next uh, period. What will determine if your conversion from zero to two million cars, electrification uh, transformation, what, what will determine it? Um, first of all, we have to offer the, the right products. Yeah, they have to be convincing and yeah. uh, we, at least we are convinced that our offer will be very attractive to the customers. Uh, what is crucial is the existence of a public uh, charging infrastructure uh, and the right legislation. Yeah, and here we still see or we see that, that there is still a long way to go until in all the countries the right legislation for the private charging private charging for example uh, is 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 changed uh, but it will happen it will happen it will, it will happen. happen so you make great cars so you will make great electric cars we'll see the first one next year what kind of price uh, can we expect it will be around 30000 when we bring our first uh, id car based on the new, newly developed platform we expect a price uh, uh, in the, on the same level as a comparable 
a conventional car with a, in Germany a diesel engine or in Holland it would be a gasoline engine. With a range of? With a range of uh, more than 300 up to 500 kilometers. So you can buy different kind of battery packs. Yeah, the, 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 the offer structure will be completely modular and the customer can choose the range of a car. You've worked 20 years in, uh, in Volkswagen, right? You have seen lots of different parts of the business. What, what have you done? Um, I'm, I'm back in, in Germany in the headquarter and the corporate strategy since three years, but I was very operative. Yeah, I was the, the managing director of our sales company in China, for example, as well as in India. Very interesting, very challenging. So you've seen lots of different worlds where Volkswagen was able to uh, adapt to. How is, this, uh, how is this change doing compared to all these other ones? This is the biggest challenge ever. Yeah. Well, you seem to ver be very serious. We wish you a lot of luck. And this was from Volkswagen from Autostadt, the newest news.